Hey everybody, John with Alfred Homesteading. I'm going to show you in this video uh, what I, I completely forgot to uh, video and show before is how we actually have a front loading washer set up here in our off grid homestead. So, um, outside of having our solar system here, our Magnusign uh, power inverter, the Magnusign inverter that we use is the uh, 4024. Uh, gives us 4,000 watts of uh, power, or up to 4,000 watts of power, 40, yeah, something like that. And uh, then on the side there, we've got the Midnight Sun Classic 150, uh, which takes power from our solar panels and uh, converts it into power that our batteries down below here, underneath there, um, are our store. So on this side here, we've got, we've got our dryer, a propane, uh, propane front-loading propane front loading dryer that we have on the side here and I have the stuff taken apart because I'm doing another video right now as well on how I ended up fixing our uh, Samsung front loading um, washer because it wasn't spinning properly it wasn't draining and I found out that but I'll have a different video for that but let me show you how I got our Samsung uh, front load washer and everything to work here so on the back of this uh, what I did is I found, because we're only using cold water out here for washes, I just took a, a braided uh, connector, um, a, a hose connector, and went from our, our water system, which is on the other side of that wall, out the back with a garden hose to this, this connector right here, splitting it into the hot and cold sides. Um, added in some power, added an extra power outlet right here, which is running to our box. Um, here was the challenge. You know, we have a building. Um, we've got this little building right here. Got this little metal building that houses all of our stuff. So what was happening is when I took the uh, drain pipe and just put it on the outside, all of this area, there's, you know, water. It was just causing a major uh, water problem and stuff out here. So what I did is made a couple holes into the back wall here of the trailer, I mean not trailer, of the metal building, okay? Put some rubber grommets, rubber grommets and stuff around it. This is actually gonna go through that hole. So let me push this uh, washer back in place and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. So again, the problem was when the water was coming out of our drain hose, it was basically hitting uh, the bottom of the building and it was actually leaking into the building from this base here and I couldn't stop the water from coming in. I don't know if it's not perfectly square what the case was but it's just not working right. So um, if we drained it right here this whole area started getting wet and just it was too muddy and stuff to work with. So the other problem was if I take the drain hose and put it into some sort of a garden hose and try to run it um, out the back over here, what was happening is during the winter months, the uh, line would freeze and it wouldn't drain so we couldn't use a washer. So the solution to that was this. Just took a, uh, I think this is probably like a 30 gallon, uh, just a rainwater collection barrel. You can probably use something smaller. It, I don't think it ever really gets up to probably about here um, in, uh, in terms of draining. But uh, pull this off of here. Yeah. All right. Second. All right. So what I did, maybe I won't show you all that, but let's now it doesn't can't see it well on the camera. So. Okay, down here, um, I have a hole that this other hose is coming through. Let me go ahead and put it through so you can see it. There's all there is. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's all I do. So your drain hose from there goes right into this tank. And then at the bottom of this tank, I just took a uh, piece of PVC, one of those screw adapter things. Um, I think it's uh, probably a one inch. Um, screwed a hole, drilled a hole in the bottom of this tank. Just made sure it was on the on the low side down here. 
okay? And then, just attached, one here, um, put some silicone and stuff on it, and looks like I've got a, oh, it's three quarter inch, three quarter inch line here. And uh, I basically have it running down here. And then I did um, kind of dig a little trench and buried this somewhat so it doesn't get too messed up here. And then down here is the exit port. Where is it? Right there. So all the water comes in here, kind of drains in the pool, and just goes out to this area. So that's how we do our um, our gray water on this side, and that seems to work fine. It keeps it far enough away of the building so that that area stays moist, not here near my foundation. So, and this little section, I'm going to show you how I connect up the um, this hose down here. How I connect this uh, garden hose to our water system to get water to um, the uh, front load washer. Okay, looks like that's connected. And this valve has been an issue uh, whenever it gets cold. Looks like it's uh, potentially failing, so I've got to replace this valve. And that happens every winter, but we need to have access to something to be able to get water out to the washer and things. So here we go. Okay, it's my handy dandy access port. Got a great key here that was tight enough. Keeps that door from closing or opening, you'd say. And then I take this hose here, goes down behind the generators, and then connects to Next down here to this braided hose, and that then goes into behind the washer. I'm going to do a sample, or just go ahead and uh, since I just serviced the unit. Ouch! My head that was not fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, put it in a spin run, spin, rinse, and spin cycle, just so I can make sure everything's working right. Let's see here. Okay, so I've now put the unit onto the rinse and spin cycle. And it's actually filled up. Looks like everything's going okay right now. And then I'm wanting it to um, go ahead and start uh, spinning and then draining here in just a minute. So I can just make sure that the um, it spins fast and the uh, drain lines are working. While it's been frozen, it's got a lot of uh, stuff that was stuck in it, just dirty water. Cleaning out the system right now. So I'm going to pause this until it starts running faster. Sounds like we're having some drainage going. Maybe. Clean all that out today. Uh, hopefully that will restore the function of the draining. And I uh, hope that helps you. Take care. If you like our channel, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified every time we send out a video. And uh, talk to you soon.